Hello Amazon sellers, my name is Anthony Zay and I'm a paradigal here at Rosemont Famlero and today I want to talk to you about suspected IP complaints or potential intellectual property misuse violations. So a lot of times when people talk to account health or when they talk to a seller support specialist, they will often say that suspected intellectual property complaints or potential IP complaints are not very important. They will say that it doesn't have a lot of effect on your account health. They will also say that you don't really need to address it. But in our experience dealing with IP complaints, we know that with suspected intellectual property complaints, sometimes your listings will be deactivated. And even we have seen account deactivations related to these suspected or potential violations. So one thing that you must understand is that these IP complaints does not come from the rights owner directly. They actually come from Amazon. And based on Amazon's determination that you're violating on somebody else's IP rights, they will deactivate your listings or your account. There are several ways where you could address the issues. You could obviously appeal the issues, but this is tricky because Amazon often will not provide a direct channel for appeals. So you have to contact either account health or seller support. In other cases, when your account is deactivated, either from a 72 hour review or just from a straight deactivation, you could have an appeal button where you could submit your appeals. Other ways of resolving are editing your listings or removing some of potential infringing content. A lot of times these things are difficult to identify because Amazon doesn't really tell you exactly what you're infringing on. For example, there's no notifications for these suspected intellectual property complaints or potential intellectual property misuses. So you have to contact self support in order to ascertain what the actual IP violation is. Uh, what type of intellectual property are you either infringing or are you violating? So given all this, suspect the intellectual property complaints and potential intellectual misuse violations are not easy to deal with. They do have an effect on your account. So if you are experiencing listing deactivations or even account deactivations due to suspected intellectual property violations, please give us a call. At Rosemont Famlero, we're very experienced in dealing with Amazon Matters, and we have a great team over here that helps sellers every day to reinstate their listings and accounts. Give us a call or visit us on our website. Thank you.